And Matt Dean joins us now. Matt, how are you feeling? I'm all right. I'm all right. It, yesterday was tough. It sort of sunk in on the Sunday after the Saturday was a bit distracted. But yeah, Sunday, I was at, a, at lunch with a friend and I wasn't in the mood to socialise. You know, Football it, does that to you. It does, it? doesn't it? it yeah, does. it seeps into all those places and yeah, it's been tough. Can you put, put a finger on where it's gone wrong? There's a legacy of issues, there's a long list of issues at, at, at Oldham and it, and it does reach back a long time, but unfortunately um, our new owners, uh, Abdallah Lemsgum, came in four years ago and we were in League One then. And as you know, we've been relegated to League, to the National League mm. for four years. So it's just an underinvestment, mismanagement over those last four years, regardless of what happened before, ultimately. He's taken us down two divisions. Some, some say it was the 1994 semi-final, FA Cup semi-finals, where you played Manchester United. And that was really the moment. You came very close, didn't you, to progressing through to the final that year, but obviously lost. Yeah, well, they did Is that the kind of point? Can you look back on that point and say from there, actually, it's been a... I mean, there's back. been a lot of balls kicked in between and there's been a lot of people in, involved in the running of the football club in between, as yeah. sickening as that moment was. You know, from, from a footballing point of view, yeah. I mean, they beat us twice in two semi-finals, for which they'll never be forgiven in, in, in our house. But, um, yeah, it, there's a lot gone on since then. And the owners of the club currently have to take responsibility for what they've done to the football club. And they're not doing that. They're not, they're not communicating with anybody. And it's, as far as it, the club is concerned, this hasn't happened, which obviously to us... It's happened. And the fans were pretty so. unhappy, weren't they, on the weekend yeah, with, the, with yeah. the protests? Well, since John Sheridan came back, he's a legend, he's a hero at the club, and we've, we've backed him and, and we've done our bit because we were protesting before. Sheds came in and we've kind of backed off and said, OK, our EFL survival is really, really important. We'll get behind the team. Uh, and they promised to, to get... Um, uh, do everything they could to keep us in the division, and they haven't done that. You know, they've failed on their promises, so the fans... On Saturday, when when it looked, I mean, I would have preferred they left it to the last minute yeah. rather than going on ten minutes before. But yeah. I can understand the the anger. Yeah. Do you think the owners will remove their association? Will they move away? Is that what you would like? Would like to be more sort of fan investment, sort of get some money together from the supporters? Yeah. The supporters trust that I represent owns three percent of the football club already. But we, we we want to increase that. I think. There has to be a massive change at this kind of level of football. We've seen what's happened at Macclesfield, Bury, Stockport. You know, I've been talking to a United fan in the room back there who was complaining about what's happening at United, and it's, they're on another planet. It's a billion pounds they've spent on players. We'll never, ever turn over a billion pounds. And what those players earn could keep our football mm. club going for 25, 30, 50 years. So there has to be a change in, in the whole dynamic of football. And clubs like Oldham, I think we have to take responsibility for it as fans. We have to fundraise. We have to contact the businesses and the people of Oldham and say, come on, it's important. Like, if you're invested in Oldham, invest in Oldham Athletic, and that's what we're going to try and achieve as a supporters' trust. And I think now we've had a villain to all get behind in the Lemsigams, unfortunately for them. I think the honourable thing for them to do would be to turn around and say, OK, we're not going to get the money that we want for the club. We've invested badly. If you buy your car and you trash it, you don't get the, mm. you don't get the, the value for what you paid for it. So I think they need to accept that and say, OK, this is your club. You, you want to take responsibility for it. We don't anymore, clearly. There you go, get on with it and, and, we'll, and we'll deal with it sure. because it's, it's our club. I know, I, I guess the current owners will say, obviously, they, they've invested quite a lot of money, but now Oldham have this unwanted tag of being the first team that was playing in the Premier League to have dropped all the way out of the Football League. Yeah. In a word, do you think you'll come back up? Bigger and better than ever. Oh, there you go. Love that. We love a bit of optimism, don't we, on a Monday oh, morning? Well, we hope Good it for works you. out for you. Thank yeah, you we'll very get much. That. Yeah, great today. speech on this morning. Thank you Thank for having you. me.